Hello, I'm your host, Tim Perfit, and I want to talk to you about a new feature I just added into WinClone 10. So WinClone 10 is a new release of WinClone that we have upcoming, and um, there's a lot of interesting things that are going on now. So Windows 11 is the, a, a new version of Windows that you um, that requires what's called a TPM, a trusted module on PCs, and it currently is causing some difficulties installing Windows on your bootcamp partition. So uh, specifically, the installer looks to see if uh, the machine that it's being installed on has a TPM, and Apple used a different technology, um, specifically the Secure Enclave to do it. And while that did support secure booting in the past, it currently doesn't allow Windows 11 to secure boot, so people have had a lot of trouble installing Windows 11 on uh, bootcamp partitions. So what we did is we added a feature to allow you to quickly install Windows 11 onto your bootcamp partition using the standard Windows ISO that you get from Microsoft. Um, we do add in because uh, Windows or WinClone has such a uh, rich feature set, we are able to inject the drivers to allow Windows to boot, as well as getting the keyboard and mouse to work and the uh, driver for the storage device. So um, let me jump in and show you how it works and then I'll give you some background on how, how we implemented it and how to go ahead and set it up. So let me uh, switch over um, to Mac OS. So this is currently running Big Sur, but it could be Monterey as well. And let me open up WinClone. So we have this new feature that's uh, called Quick Install Windows. And it requires three things. You have to have your Windows ISO that you download from Microsoft. You have to have your driver folder, um, which is what you download the Windows support folder from inside of Bootcamp Assistant. And you need a target volume, which is uh, your Bootcamp partition. So I've already done most of those things. So I'll just select my ISO. Here's the one I, I went to insider.windows.com and I downloaded an ISO, Windows 11. We have this great pull down menu to allow you to select the edition anywhere from core down to Windows Professional, which I'll select. And then I'll select the driver folder, which is this Windows support folder I downloaded inside of Bootcamp Assistant. And then next we need to select the destination. You see there's no destination here. So what I'll do is I'll open up uh, Disk Utility and I'll create a bootcamp partition. And that's relatively simple to do. I just select the top level, collect a partition, and then I hit plus, and I'm gonna split the drive right in half, half for Windows, half uh, for Mac OS. Instead of adding volume, I'll add a partition, because this actually has to be a physical partition, and I'll change it to MS-DOS. It is gonna be converted over to NTFS when it gets restored, but MS-DOS is the correct format for initially setting it up. And I'll just call this Windows, um, because it's going to be our Windows partition. And then I'll click Apply. And it says OK, and then it'll tell me that the machine's going to become uh, unresponsive for a little bit. So I'll just say OK. And then I'll come back in just a minute once that's done and uh, continue onward. All right, that's now completed. So now we have ourselves a bootcamp partition. Or at this point, it's just an MS-DOS partition that needs to have Windows put on it. So let me quit out of disk utility and I'll go back to WinClone and I'll click on select destination. You can see now I have a Windows partition. So when I select that, I can now click quick install. And when I select that, it'll go ahead and mount that ISO and restore Windows onto that bootcamp partition, then inject the drivers that allow it to boot. It doesn't inject, or it doesn't inject all of the drivers, it just injects the ones that allow you to get up to, to the, uh, where you can work with Windows. So specifically the keyboard and the mouse, any of the supporting drivers, as well as the mass storage device to work on any of the Mac models up through T2s. So um, it allows you to get into Windows. And this isn't, this isn't just the installer. This is the full version of Windows, uh, the, in this case, the, the uh, Windows Professional or Workstation Professional. Um, so when you boot into it, it's going to go right into Windows Setup and allows me to set it up. And then once I'm done, I'll install the, I'll install the bootcamp drivers. And that's, that allows you to install the Apple utilities as well to make sure that all the drivers stay up to date. Um, so it's uh, a pretty seamless and quick process. It takes about three and a half minutes to restore the um, bootcamp partition from the Windows ISO. So uh, let me, well, I'll come back once this is done and I'll show you how to, a quick way to make the drivers easily available for installing Windows and then I'll actually reboot and show you how it works. All 
All right, it's now been it's now completed, and uh, it throws up a dialog that tells you if you have Windows 11, you have to disable Secure Boot um, because the uh, Windows 11 requires a TPM, which um, doesn't is currently either Macs don't have or it's not exposed, um, and so you have to disable that. And I'll I'll show you exactly how to do that. Um, but if you uh, are installing Windows 10 or you don't have a T2 machine, you don't need to do that. So anyways, I'll click OK. And let me show you, uh, this is all restored so I can reboot into Windows now and it would boot up fine. But I'm gonna have to install the remainder of the drivers. So one of the things I'll do to make it really easy, I'll go up to Tools and choose Mount Read Write. And so I'll select the uh, Windows partition and then I'll mount that one Read Write so I can copy things to it. And I'll just drag the Windows support over to that C drive, that Windows partition. And what that'll allow me to do is I'll have the drivers available to install and it'll make it really easy. And you can see it was relatively fast. So now I can go up to uh, Startup uh, start Disk, unlock it. And select Windows and then click Restart. Simple as that. And now Windows 11 has been installed and it'll boot into it, start up the services and uh, um, discover the drivers and do all the Windowsy things and go into Windows Setup. And then we'll set up Windows and install the drivers. So that's it. That's all you need to do to be able to install Windows 11 on the bootcamp partition with uh, WinClone 10. So I'll be back in a minute to show you exactly how to do this next process. All right, Windows is now in the Windows setup. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the setup and then I'm gonna come back once I get to the desktop and show you how to install the drivers. All right, Windows is now installed and we're at the desktop. So wasn't that incredibly easy? All you have to do is select the ISO, select the drivers you downloaded, select the bootcamp partition and boom, it's, it's installed. So, um, Let's actually look, we have to reinstall the rest of the drivers so we can have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all those other things. So since I copied it to the root of the C drive, I'll just go ahead and open up this, go to this PC, C drive, and you can see I have Windows support. And there we have it. And I go into Bootcamp and double click on the setup. And then give it authorization. And then I'll walk through and just, this is just the normal Bootcamp Assistant or the new uh, the boot camp, boot camp uh, driver installer. So it'll go ahead and install this now. And uh, once that's done, I have a fully functional version of Windows. So let me boot back, I'll let this finish, and then I'll boot back into uh, Mac OS. All right, we're back at the Mac OS desktop. So let me show you what happens if you have an issue where it says that um, it won't, uh, Windows won't boot up due to secure boot. It usually gives, you just, you either won't start up or you'll see, a, uh, a message at the when Windows tries to start up about a file not being allowed to uh, be signed. It's like bootwin.efi or something like that, that um, is uh, not recognized. So all you need to do is turn off secure boot. And the way you do that is just restart the Mac. And the way I like to do it is I do restart and then I hold the option key down. And then when it comes up to the boot selector, I just do command R to boot into recovery. I'll do that now. You can just hold Command R to go into recovery, but I enjoy holding the option key down and uh, kind of seeing the progress as it goes through. Now that we're in recovery, I'll go up to the Utilities menu and choose uh, Startup Security Utility. And you can see here that uh, they're, the full for security, mean security, and no security. I've selected no security, and that turns off secure boot, and that'll allow Windows to boot without secure boot and uh, successfully boot into Windows 11. Uh, you don't have to do that on all machines, and you don't have to do it on Windows 10, but Windows 11, you do have to do that. So then I'll do quit, uh, startup utility, and then I'll just restart. To download the Windows ISO, you just head on, just open a browser and head on over to insider.windows.com. That's the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to insider.windows.com and then I'll just either create an account and join the Windows Insider program or just download and then allow me to download the ISO. So very simple, allows you to get that. It'll, this will actually work with Windows 10 and Windows 11 ISOs. So if you get the ISOs from another method or you have an older one that you want to use, that should still work fine.
Now I'll show you how to download the Windows drivers from Root Camp Assistant. So I will go and I'll open up Boot Camp Assistant and go up to the action menu and choose download Windows support software. And then I usually like to save it to my desktop. So I'll switch this to desktop and then leave the name at Windows support and then I'll click save. That's all there is to it. Now we have a Windows support folder on your desktop after that's all done saving and we can use that in uh, WinClone 10 to be able to quickly restore Windows or quickly install Windows. So thank you very much for watching. I'm really excited about this new feature because it uh, allows you to get Windows 11 onto your, your bootcamp partition in incredibly fast and a very easy way to do it. Um, so I, I am excited to see how folks are going to be using it and getting feedback on it. Uh, WinClone 10 is our next major version of WinClone. So please download a copy and check it out. And thank you very much for watching.